Yes, we're here, Meredith Morakovitz and Paul O'Neill. Paul, it's been a while since I've seen you. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, all is well in our circle. You, everything going well? Can't complain, staying inside, trying to do my part, social distancing if I have to go outside. Now, Polishing I, all your trophies I see behind you? Well, where are your trophies? You have a lot more than I do. <laughs> we keep them up north. I don't have anything down here. I'm going to have to start shipping them down. What is the most ridiculous thing on Nev's to-do list that she made you do around the house? It changes by the day. I've uh, cleaned the shower, which I broke. <laughs> I have vacuumed, which I found an iguana. So the, the, every day something's different. It has uh, brought about things why I don't like to do housework. Now, are you also a repairman, too? Since you broke the shower, do you then have to fix the shower? Well, I tried, but that didn't work either. So when this is all over, we'll get somebody that knows what they're doing. And I, what I have become good about now is dinner. I'm a good griller now. I used to be the world's worst. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but now that's a big part of the day when the kids come over and we have dinner. So uh, that's my big thing right now. Are you enjoying the cooking? Is it therapeutic for you to be able to provide a nice meal for the family? Well, I mean, it is fun. I mean, uh, that's uh, always been one of my favorite times of the day. I, I think that I was born in the wrong uh, culture because other cultures really live around their dinners, and, and that's what we do now. I mean, when you wake up and you're on schedule, you work out, you do this, you do this, and you start looking forward to when, we, when can we start dinner? And uh, basically, that's where we are right now. What's a Paul O'Neill specialty? Recently, I've had swordfish tacos. Ooh. I've had fajitas with tenderloin. Chicken's a staple, right? We actually made a pork roast last night with Cuban sandwiches just because it sounded good. It was kind of a flop, but a couple of the other things were really good. Wow. Now, are you watching YouTube tutorials, following recipes? How are you coming up with this stuff? Nah, I just kind of uh, mix or match and, and hope things work out. I mean, you know, when you're cooking for your kids, if it doesn't work out, they don't say anything anyway. So you're, you're good. <laughs> there you go. Now, I had some condo or home repairs, whatever you'd like to call them, to address the other day as well. I thought my freezer was breaking. Would you believe that I found a way to fix it? Wow. You know what? With all the food that's delivered and everything that you have to have, that could be a major catastrophe. Freezers, air conditioning, things like that. Th those are the things you go to bed worrying about right now. I'll have to send you the video. It was pretty intense, but I made it work after about three YouTube tutorials. So we got well, it done. <laughs> if my refrigerator blows up, you'll have to make a, a trip across the state, all right? <laughs> Drive over and get it done yeah. for you. Uh, yes. So what, what else have you been up to, Paul? Uh, you know what? I've taken uh, up yoga a little bit. I do that out by the pool sometimes at night. I, like I said, I, I'm a professional housekeeper now. I'm a cook. And, uh, you know, you go from workout to workout. I'm fortunate enough when my son has a workout in, uh, in his garage, a, a whole CrossFit rig thing. So uh, that's basically our day. The, the schedule doesn't change much from day to day. Was your yoga inspired not only because you are stuck at home, but did you get an itch <laughs> for it? When we did that promo with yoga years back? You know what? The other day we got and we ended it with the warrior pose. I'm like, haven't I done this before? <laughs> so, yeah, not I don't only, know if brought on by that, but uh, I get through the classes. Not only did you do it, but you did it for like two hours. They made you hold that pose. <laughs> we, had to, we had to fly to New York to do yoga that day, if you'll recall. Very bright and early. Yeah, that was a good one, though. Uh, you know, like so many people, we realize that this is bigger than baseball, but we're still missing baseball. What are you missing most about Yankees baseball right now? Uh, I mean, it's not being in New York. Uh, you know, you hear the talk of the Yankees, but when you're there during the season, man, if you know, when you get up in the morning, you go to the store, this or that, people are talking about the game before, the night before, who's playing well, who's not playing well, what are the Yankees going to do? It's kind of like the conversation of the day. And uh, I guess I just miss the everyday uh, talk of the New Yorkers on how worried they are or how excited they are about what the Yankees are doing.